The U.S. has become a dumping ground for everybody else's problems. <laughs> Thank you. It's true. And these are the best and the finest. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. But I speak to border guards, and they tell us what we're getting. And it only makes common sense. It only makes common sense. They're sending us not the right people. It's coming from more than Mexico. It's coming from all over South and Latin America, and it's coming probably, probably from the Middle East. But we don't know, because we have protection, and we have no confidence. We don't know what's happening. And it's got to stop, and it's got to stop fast. Donald Trump notched up big wins on Super Tuesday. Votes in 12 states, making it the biggest test for the candidates so far. But it didn't take long for scuffles between the favorites to break out. We're going to make America great again, folks. We're going to make it great again. America never stopped being great. We... You know, I watched Hillary's speech, and she's talking about wages have been poor, and everything's poor, and everything's doing badly, but we're going to make it. She's been there for so long. I mean, if she hasn't straightened it out by now, she's not going to straighten it out in the next four years. It's just going to become worse and worse. Well, billionaire Donald Trump there crushed his rivals in seven states in the Republican race for the Democrats. Hillary Clinton took all states from Bernie Sanders, except for where the anti-establishment candidate leads. The easiest Donald win J. for Sanders. Trump is they calling pay. for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. We have no choice. We have no choice. We have no choice. According to Pew Research, among others, there is a great hatred toward Americans by large segments of the Muslim population. Most recently, a poll from Center for Security Policy released data showing 25% of those polled agreed that violence against Americans. These are people that are here, by the way. People are here. 25, not 1%. By the way, 1% would be unacceptable. 1% is unacceptable. 25% of those polled agreed that violence against The former president uh, of Mexico, Vicente Fox, he said today, and I'm quoting him, 
he said, I'm not going to pay for that, quote, effing wall. So if you don't uh, get an actual check from the Mexican government for eight or 10 or $12 billion, whatever it will cost, how are you going to make them pay for the wall? I will, and the wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. Just got 10 feet taller. I saw him make that, dis I saw him make the statement. I saw him use the word that he used. I can only tell you, if I would have used even half of that word, it would have been national scandal. This guy used a filthy, disgusting word on television, and he should be ashamed of himself, and he should apologize, okay? Number one. Number two, we have a trade deficit with Mexico of $58 billion a year, and that doesn't include all the drugs that are pouring across and destroying our country. We're going to make them pay for that wall. Now, the wall is $10 billion to $12 billion if I do it. If these guys do it, it'll end up costing $200 billion. <laughs>
There was an interesting moment, and I think this was in North Orlando, Florida. Donald Trump today on the campaign trail uh, talking to voters and asking them to take this pledge. I want to talk about that. Let's take a look at that. Okay, wait. Let's do a pledge. Everybody here, who likes me in this room? Okay. I've never done this before. Can I have a pledge? A swearing? Raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear that I, no matter how I feel, no matter what the conditions, if there's hurricanes or whatever, that's good enough, will vote on or before the 12th for Donald J. Trump for president. Now I know. Don't forget, you all raised your hand, you swore. Bad things happen if you don't live up to what you just did. Now, I really appreciate it. I mean, the, the, we're having a, an amazing period. It's an amazing... I'm 